It's been a challenging school year for teachers, learners, and stakeholders. But this COVID-19 pandemic did not stop us from delivering education to our learners. It is a privilege to present to you the School Learning Continuity Plan of Santa Rosa Elementary School for school year 2020-2021. Education, indeed, is a continuous process. It did not stop from the time we received our diploma. This pandemic taught and pushed us to stream the education through technologies, and we at Santa Rosa Elementary School exert efforts to equip ourselves with proper tools through webinars prepared by the Department of Education. In Section 1, School Key Education Data exhibits the enrollment of 2019-2020 versus enrollment of 2020-2021. This shows an 8.38% decrease of enrollment, but it doesn't show that less effort was exerted by the teachers and school staff. All social media tools was used to reach out the learners and their parents. Santa Rosa Elementary School is grateful for the Sangguniang Barangay for their support in disseminating information and encouraging parents to enroll their children amidst COVID-19 pandemic. Next is the total number of teachers composed of 2 males and 15 females with a total of 17, including the school principal one. On the other hand, challenges occur that may affect child's learning processes. Based on the data shown above, the following are the challenges that may affect child's learning process. 1. Insufficient load or data allowance. 2. Lack of available gadgets or equipment. 3. Unstable mobile or internet connection. 4. Difficulty in independent learning. For the challenges stated above, the following are the interventions to be conducted. 1. Communicate with the parents, guardians through online communication or text messages. 2. Ask assistance from parents to manage time in assisting their children in study. 3. Advise any family member to assist their child or children in his, her, or their studies while they are away from home. 4. Improve activities pertaining to the modular learning modality. This chart reveals parents' employment status wherein most of them are part-time employees, followed by full-time employees. Some are unemployed, few are self-employed, and others are not working at all. Next is the chart that shows who can provide instructional support to child's distance learning. As it displays, 82% of the learners have their parents or guardians to help them. The rest are their siblings, grandparents, and extended family members. It is a good thing to know that each learner have somebody to assist them in home learning. Furthermore, devices are needed to assist learners achieve the learning process. As the data manifested, most of the learners have cell phones, smartphones, followed by television with cable. Others have basic cell phones but only 11% have internet connection at home. So it was decided to use modular learning modality, which is the applicable in Santa Rosa Elementary School new normal in education. 
Next, in Section 2, is the Framework and Implementation Plan. Santa Rosa Elementary School collaborated with proper institution and organization to spawn the SLCP. Challenges are there, but actions was made to solve them. To sum it up, Santa Rosa Elementary School will ensure continuous education while health and safety of learners, teaching and done teaching staff are prioritized. Santa Rosa Elementary School will be guided by the MELC with BAU or Budget of Work in the development of the learning plan, the IDOA. It will implement, adapt relevant and suited learning modalities to learners to ensure that learning goals and expected academic performances are attained. It will provide suitable learning assessment measures to track learners' performance as a basis for academic judgment or decision-making. In addition, as it mentioned in Section 1, modular is the most appropriate modality for Santa Rosa Elementary School. Furthermore, based on the survey conducted through LESF, it is obvious that modular learning modality is most preferred by the parents and learners. In Figure 9, Trust Flow for Modular Distance Learning or MDL, Santa Rosa Elementary School teaching and non-teaching personnel together with its stakeholders adheres to the order of the Department of Education to start the school year 2020-2021. The school will offer modular distance learning modality. The same as with the MD. For more comprehensible flow, schedule of tasks or activities was created. Although the school will offer a modular distance learning, another modality is presented and it's the online distance learning. As the table show, there are 36 people who preferred online distance learning. So this will be the flow of the online learning modality. Preparation, distribution, submission, and checking. In letter E, process of flow of combined MDL and ODL is also shown. The process flow of distribution and the table of modules are the same with MDL. How will the learners be assessed or evaluated? Here is the school assessment plan according to the LDM of best fit. These are diagnostic, formative, and summative through modules, devices, and printed tests. How about the grading system? It will be based on Division Order Number 8, Series of 2015. Step 1. Grades from all student work are added up. Step 2. The sum of each component is converted to the percentage score. Step 3. Percentage scores are then converted to weighted scores to show the importance of each component in promoting learning in the different subjects. Adjusted component of summative test is displayed in the table. How will the teachers do it? Here is an example of proposed multimodal assessment strategy on reflective learning. A rubric was made with indicators. School Operations Management In Teacher Deployment Matrix, as you can see in the table, Grades 1, Grade 5, and 6 has 3 teachers and the rest has 2 teachers. 
Each class will have 20 learners above but not greater than 31. All classes will carry out the modular learning modality. Are the teachers ready? There are enough number of personnel and teachers who have smartphones as common tool for education technology. Some have laptops and desktops, but with limited internet connectivity. There is also inadequate training on distance education. In terms of their attitude toward remote learning, they have uncertainty in its effectiveness and their ability to make effective instructional design and assessment. Nonetheless, teachers have positive attitude towards this change and believe that sound pedagogy should drive the use of technology and not the other way around. Provided with adequate training, these teachers can readily adapt to the new normal measures. It is evident that 100% of the teachers of Santa Rosa Elementary School chosen modular delivery of learning. To equip the teachers more, an action plan for lab session, instructional supervision, and performance evaluation was projected. Here are the class and teachers programming. Each grade level will use modular learning modality. To direct learners, class schedule for them was produced. To steer teachers' professional development, inset and lock session was accomplished and scheduled. Monitoring and evaluation was formed through online conferences and observation, group discussion, and analysis and reporting. Logistics management. Reproduction of SOM was done by the school. Materials used were provided by the school through MOOE request together with some stakeholders. LMs or module will be picked up from the designated area by barangay officials. The distribution will also be done by the assigned barangay officials. LM schedules of retrieval and submission of learner's portfolio and other outputs will be arranged with utmost consideration of safety measures and social distancing. Inventory of other available and supplementary learning materials will be carried out by the school property custodian and teachers concerned. Trainings and orientation on proper use of ICT materials and online communication will be promoted. Learning resources, distribution, and retrieval skills. The new normal setup sets Barangay Hall as the official center of retrieval and submission of LRs and all other outputs of the learners. This will be the standard operation until such further notice or memorandum is served by the Department of Education. A flowchart is shown in Figure 1. LR distribution and retrieval scheme. Every grade level will distribute the LRs every Monday morning and it will be retrieved every Friday morning. This is the inventory of available materials. Where does it came from? Thanks to our Brigada Heroes for your donation. Santa Rosa ES is so grateful for your kindness. For the operationalization of the school's learning continuity plan, the following activities were scheduled like Meeting with Sangguniang Barangay of Santa Rosa ES, Orientation of the LCP to the GPTA officers and members, Barangay Education Committee, Chairman, and other stakeholders, Information Dissemination of the School Learning Continuity Plan. For the school supply management, parents' involvement is essential to ensure the quality of education for the learners. 
The chart shows the parents' involvement in the operationalization of the school community partnership. Regarding the community support or stakeholder support, a memorandum of agreement was prepared to guarantee the cooperation of the involved partner LGU headed by Honorable Gregoria Hatipon, our Barangay Chairman. In partnership and networking, there are 54 volunteers from different organizations of the community as shown in the table. This is the list of stakeholders that support and respond to the need of the school. This table displays the school operating budget during the period of August to December 2020. Here are the legal basis for the development of the Learning Continuity Plan of Santa Rosa Elementary School. Provided the attached documents like Commitment Farm Memorandum of Agreement or MOA, Training Certificate of Teachers, Pictures of Health and Safety Measures in School. Thank you very much and we are hoping for the success of this new learning modality amidst COVID-19 pandemic. Sulong Edukalidad, education in the new normal. God bless us all.